Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I wanna do an example of something you should never do, which is return the memory address of a local variable. I wanna show you what this means with an example. I wanna show you what happens when you try and use that memory address. And then I wanna show you a little tool called GDB, which is a debugger you can use in order to hunt down this kind of segmentation fault that we're gonna introduce by doing something we shouldn't do, which is return the memory address of a local variable. All right, so you can see on my screen here, I've got some code from a previous video that I just made on using the Valgrind tool to detect memory leaks in your program. So you can take a look at this if you're interested, but I'm gonna start uh, right down here on line 15. So I'm gonna have a pointer, and I'm gonna call it bad pointer. Okay, so a uh, bad PTR, this is gonna be an int pointer that I'm initially gonna to set to null. But then I'm gonna overwrite null with the return value from a function I'm gonna call do bad things. As the name implies, this function is gonna do something bad that you shouldn't do unless you're trying to do a demonstration like this. Okay? I'm going to see out the contents of what bad PTR points to. Okay, so I'm gonna dereference bad pointer and try and go to the memory address that this function is gonna return and print out its value. So what's so wrong with this code? Okay, do bad things. Let's take a look. So it's going to return an int pointer. Okay, we're gonna store that in bad pointer. I'm gonna call it do bad things. No arguments, so no parameters. And it's gonna have a local variable of type int. I'll call it local variable, just to be clear, okay? And this local variable resides in the stack area of memory, okay? So the stack area of memory is different than the heap area of memory. The stack area of memory is deallocated when a function exits. So anything that was allocated on the stack in this function is going to be deallocated when this function exits, okay? So that's why you never want to return the memory address of a local variable. Okay, because when this function exits, that local variable is going to be deallocated. So you'll essentially have the memory address of a variable that you shouldn't have the memory address of. So let's do this bad thing, okay? So here's the address of operator. I'm gonna return the memory address of local variable. Local variables, memory is gonna be deallocated when this function exits, but I'm still gonna have its memory address stored right here in bad pointer, okay? So let's save this, and we'll see that when we compile this, in fact, the compiler is gonna warn us and say, are you sure you wanna do this? you're returning the address of a local variable, okay? The compiler knows this is bad and probably not what you wanna do. So we definitely wanna heed this warning, okay? And just for fun, let me show you a new uh, G++ flag. Dash W all, okay, is for show all warnings. So there are other warnings besides this one that you can see when you compile your code, okay? So this one shows up no matter what. It's that serious, uh, but with W all, you can see a lot of other warnings show up. Okay, so that's kind of a fun flag to turn on to make sure you're writing really good code. All right, so it's compiled, so let's run it. Okay, here's my seven, it's printing from line 15, and then I get a segmentation fault, okay? It's coming from this line right here. Nothing bad happens until I try to go to that memory address and read its contents. We're not supposed to be reading at that address. If I comment this line out, compile it again, run it, the program doesn't crash. All right, so there's an example of what you should never do. Okay, you should never return the memory address of a local variable. Now what I wanna do is show you a cool little tool called GDB, which stands for the GNU Debugger that you can use in order to find out which line of code is causing this segmentation fault. Seg faults are notoriously tricky to hunt down and debug in C and C++. So GDB is a great tool that can help you isolate where the problem is. 
If you aren't going to use GDB, then my advice is always to use the out statements and trace your code so you can figure out what line of code it crashes on, right? So the C out statements will show you all the output up until the program crashes. That will help you figure out what line of code is crashing your program. And then you can take a look at all of the, say, variables in that line of code and print out their values, right? So we know if line 24 is what's crashing our code, then it's probably something to do with bad pointer. All right, so that's kind of like a, a caveman debugging strategy, kind of brute force. Uh, let me show you just a very short demo of how we could use GDB in order to find out 24 is the line number for this segmentation fault here. All right, so I've got to compile my code with the dash G or minus G switch, okay? So this switch or this option tells G++ to compile our source code using debugging symbols, okay? So it will insert these debugging symbols that can be used by a program like GDB in order to debug the program. And what we're most interested in part of these debugging symbols is the line numbers in our original source code. Okay, so I want to, instead of seeing segmentation fault core dumped, I want to see line 24 is the line of your code or my code that caused the program to crash with a seg fault. Okay, so we've got to compile with dash G. All right, next, all we need to do is run GDB. Okay, so I'm going to type GDB, and then the name of my executable, a.out, okay? So now you can see my prompt change because I'm now kind of in the GDB shell, and I can type GDB commands. There are a lot of great GDB commands, including setting breakpoints in your program, executing until a breakpoint is hit, then stepping through code line by line. Lots of great tutorials out there on GDB. The only one I'm going to show right now is just the run command. So I'm going to tell GDB to run a.out. Okay, you can see it loaded the debug symbols from a.out, so it knows enough about a.out in order to debug it. So all I'm going to type is run. That's it. Okay, and it's going to give me some information. Program receives signal, segmentation fault, Here's the memory address of that line of code that caused the seg fault in memory. Okay, that's not too helpful, but what is helpful is what I see next. In main at debugging fun line 24, right there. It tells me the file, it tells me the line number in my source file, and we already had a suspicion that it was this line of code that caused the seg fault to occur, right? Because when I commented this code out, the program didn't crash with the seg fault. All right, so GDB, really helpful, right? It just told me exactly what line number in my code is causing the seg fault. Now, you're not always going to be able to use GDB in this way to see exactly what line number in your code is throwing or causing the segmentation fault to occur. Okay, it might be some code in like a standard library that's crashing because you've given it maybe some bad memory addresses or whatnot, uh, but it, this is a good place to start. And I highly encourage you to take a look at some GDB tutorials online so you can see how to use this really powerful command line tool. All right, to get out of GDB, you can just do Q for quit. It's saying, do you really want to quit? You have an active debugging session, Y for guess, and then I am back to my terminal. All right, that's the end of my very short GDB demo. And as a reminder, never return the memory address of a local variable.